In this module, we will discuss torsional vibration. This topic builds on many terms introduced in Module 1, namely natural frequency, resonance, and dynamic forces. All rotating equipment, including compressors, engines, and pumps, will experience a torsional load. One important torsional load is the gas load inside a reciprocating compressor. The gas load acts on the piston and is transmitted to the crankshaft. This chart illustrates the gas load from all the cylinders during one revolution of the crankshaft. Another important load is the inertial load due to the weight of the piston assembly. Inertial load for all cylinders also varies widely over each revolution. By adding together the gas load and the inertial load, we find the combined torsional load for all cylinders in this compressor. The load from each cylinder acts on the crankshaft, resulting in a torque that can cause vibration problems. Each machine will have a unique load profile. A torsional vibration analysis considers how this combined load interacts with the crankshaft, the engine or motor, the coupling, and the resulting stress and vibration on the system. A complete drivetrain or torsional system, for example, a reciprocating compressor with a coupling and an electric motor, has a torsional natural frequency, or TNF. Torsional natural frequency is defined as the frequency at which a shaft twists back and forth. Imagine twisting a shaft by rotating one end. After releasing the shaft, it rotates back and forth. This oscillation occurs at the torsional natural frequency. This is analogous to the mechanical natural frequency described in Module 1. Torsional vibration can occur, especially if the system is resonant. In this example, the vibrations are low at 900 RPM. As the speed increases, the system becomes resonant at 1200 RPM when the speed is at the TNF. At resonance, the vibration response is greatly amplified. Above the resonant frequency, vibration response is significantly reduced. The torsional analysis must accurately predict resonant conditions and vibration problems. If not, the results can be catastrophic. Destroyed couplings, broken compressor shafts, broken motor shafts, not to mention the downtime and cost if the unit is inoperable for one to two months. Torsional vibration is often called the silent killer because a failure like this occurs without warning. The best way to mitigate these failures is to order a torsional vibration analysis before a unit is built. With early involvement, the system can be modified more cost-effectively and easily than later. Changing the coupling size or style, adding a flywheel or a detuner, and changing the shaft material or size are all easily done if the components haven't been built. If the system is already built, then needed modifications are often more expensive and complicated, resulting in delayed delivery of the unit. The next time you are involved with ordering or designing a rotating system, it is highly recommended that you have a torsional analysis performed. This module is a brief introduction on torsional vibration analysis. The key points are that torsional vibration can result in failure. A torsional vibration analysis should be performed very early in the package design phase. The analysis should adequately cover the entire operating condition envelope, including upset conditions, while addressing tolerances in manufacturing and installation. For superior accuracy and practical recommendations, please contact Beta for your next compressor or pump project.